to my channel what am I doing today today I am doing a color with me session um, I just literally just finished drawing this little number here in my new sketchbook this is a small little sketchbook it only has like 20 pages and um, I basically made it this way because I want to use these in it I've been getting into the scrape of twisting crayons I know I got into the coloring pens the, the, the coloring the coloring crayons phase and now I'm in the twistable crayon phase and this is not another month of the crayons I've featured these before so in this video we will be coloring a piece using these products I am thinking July is going to be the month of using the art products reviewed in June and um, we'll be doing that today so I drew this piece and I was debating whether or not I want to use the scented crayons and I'm like yeah I should especially like how I have three out of the scented colors in here which is banana grape and apple there's no watermelon this is actually cherry and um, so yeah I have three different types of scented crayons here. I have this one from Mr. Sketch. These are the scented crayons. Sorry, um, I have Sergeant Art, which are these ones here. And these are not scented, sorry. I only have one scented crayons, and these are not scented. And I also have Basic, which comes in a 12 set, and these are also not scented. So I only have one scented crayons, not three, one. But it's okay, it's really okay. Because we're gonna have some fun with these today. I'm actually trying to separate the basic from the sergeant art. <laughs> That's why I'm taking so long. <laughs> yeah. So these are the basic, there are 12 crayons here. And these are the sergeant art, there's eight crayons here. And then these eights are scented crayons. So, now that you see what I, where I am going to be doing, let me stop my blabbering and get to the coloring.
as you can see this is actually a glossy effect it has up there as you can see really glossy no more color can go down on this see absolutely no more color it has reached its saturation I am all finished here and you may have seen in the tutorial I use a bit of uh, Gamsol just to kind of smooth things out a bit because this was not working with me well at all. I mean, it was like really not working with me well. So I just use a bit of Gamsol just to kind of smooth things out a bit so it could work with me a little bit because it really wasn't working with me well. At least here, I'm just putting a bit of Gamsol down just to kind of smooth things out a bit because what happened is it, it, it gets scratchy because the dust gets underneath what where I am coloring and then when that happens it uh it kind of lifts the underneath crayon a bit and that's what happens it actually does it actually gets underneath it like in this area I'm trying to fix it actually gets underneath it and then it lifts the color that's underneath this and when that happens it looks really scratchy so for that reason you see me in my color with me portion where I used that brush a lot to kind of sweep away some of the dust before going back in there and rendering again just so that it doesn't leave that scratchiness I'm just trying to smooth it out a bit <laughs> just so I could add some shadow definition to kind of ground these fruits onto this paper you can see it does produce a lot of wax dust a lot I've been using my backing here to kind of scoop it up in and put it in the garbage Okay guys, I think I'm finished. I'm not touching it anymore. I am putting away the Gamsol. Let me know what you think. Sorry, I've been hitting the camera a lot. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. Um, wait, I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. need to put a little bit of I'm gonna use color pencils for this piece because I need precision on these little things here and there goes my dog excuse me and as always stay safe stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one bye